everyone, this is Ron with Happy Homes with the walkthrough video tour of 370 Bumble Way in Summers Corner in Somerville, South Carolina. Somerville sits about 30 minutes north of downtown Charleston. You have either a very scenic drive um, up Highway 61 past the plant, old plantations and whatnot, which is a gorgeous drive into this community. Uh, or you can bring, you know, I-26 out through Somerville. Um, either way, you're looking at about 30 minutes um, to this lovely Summers Corner is a brand new development out here. Um, they have some amazing amenities associated with this uh, neighborhood where there's a pool and clubhouse features. There's actually multiple pools, but um, some of them, and, and we'll sit, put some pictures uh, and links in the listing, uh, are pretty amazing that you'll want to take advantage of when living here. Um, Somerville itself is a, what I refer to as a booming metropolis. Uh, it used to be a, just a, a small family friendly community. And over the years, since I've been here for the past 20 years, it has just blossomed into this much bigger, um, larger community with lots of amenities, uh, lots of businesses that everybody knows and loves um very nearby so really cool place to live um let's take a tour of the house man prepare to have your socks knocked off uh this entryway helps set the stage you have lovely porch down below with a, a nice sized porch up above um, this home has all the bells and whistles you're absolutely going to love it it is a four bedroom um let's see three bath so uh, let's go in and take a look ring doorbell there's other ring alarm features in the home so uh, including well, I saw a motion sensor inside not that you're gonna need it because this is such a uh, friendly and quiet community but still a little peace of mind um, coming into the entryway here you have these uh, wood flooring it's kind of the, the laminate wood flooring but very gorgeous very durable um, it's coming through as kind of brown in the video but it actually looks like a a, a, gray, a light gray with some brown tones to it um, it looks lighter than, it, than it's showing up in the video just fyi uh, you have this little nook area right inside at the base of the steps which is cool uh, i always love a nook because you know, you, we can always, in America, we can always find something to put there. Um, and then you do have, you know, uh, this is a feature that I really like um, when the guest room is downstairs. Um, you have this huge guest room, lots of uh, nice lighting, French door closet right there, and they have their own full bath, uh, which is nice. So if you ever have guests staying, um, you know, these, the guests can you know fend for themselves downstairs kind of have their own floor while the family or whoever uh, is living upstairs um, and everything's kind of separate again little nook here um, and then opens up into this wide open amazing living space uh, plenty of room underneath the sit up um, bar here for for you know, when you're cooking and eating, plenty of uh, space to entertain as well. You do have this nice uh, countertop. There's a good look at that. And a little nook there. <clears throat> Gas cooktop here with the overhead um, vent hood. Very nice. Lots of five burners there on the cooktop. Uh, here's pantry number one, uh, right off the kitchen. This is probably where you're going to store all your food items and whatnot. Uh, plenty of storage space there for about anything you need, but also lots of cabinet space out here for all your cookware and plates and whatnot. Um, let's see, it looks like you have the, the GE package of um, appliances. You've got the French door refrigerator here. Uh, with the indoor water and ice feature. You've got the, right next to the sink, your dishwasher, dual ovens right here. 
And then of course your cooktop and the vent hood right there. Man, just, I just love how this house segues right into this amazing, huge living space. This is gonna be your probably formal dining area. There's about 12 foot of space, at least, from me to that wall. So plenty of room for a large dining table uh, that would go here and still, again, plenty of room here to set up your living area. Uh, probably set up for a TV up over the uh, gas fireplace there. Again, nice little uh, feature, the gas fireplace. Lots of windows and lighting. I have the blinds somewhat pulled so it's not too bright in here. Uh, and you can see that the homeowner, uh, when they made their selections, did some upgrades on the lighting uh, and fan features. All the fans have remotes with, uh, you know, plenty of options for controls. You know what, since we're right here, actually, I'm sorry, I'm gonna go ahead and take you and show you the garage so we don't have to run through the house afterwards. You have this nice little porch area in back, plenty of room for seating. I'm told that there is going to be a fence that goes up along this side of the house, uh, down through here. Um, it's not there now, but by the time somebody moves into the home, it will probably be up. Here's your little walkway to the uh, garage. It's a two car garage with finished walls. I've had drywall put up in the, in the uh, garage, so it's really nice. There is a driveway, as you can see, on the back side of the garage. And here, let's just step inside real quick. Garage door opener, lots of space. Again, finished out garage, really nice. Plenty of space, more than enough room for two cars. You're gonna have some storage room in the front of the garage there because it's, uh, it's a long space. All right. I hear the neighbors here are lovely. Uh, so that's a bonus for anybody considering this property. The neighbors are really nice. Okay, coming back inside. Uh, now we're gonna go take a look at the upstairs uh, bedroom areas. Oh, I don't think I showed you this. Here's that second pantry I mentioned. Man, how often do you get this? But this is probably gonna be where, because it's across from the kitchen where you store all your utility items, light bulbs, trash bags, and whatnot. You, you've got a, a nice little alcove here for brooms and vacuums and things like that. But Wow, just, uh, I love me an additional storage cabinet for utility items. Let's head up and take a look upstairs. You know what else I love? I love me a bonus room. At the top of the steps here with this cool little uh, shelf that overlooks, you know, the downstairs, so it's not really, you know, it's not completely separated from what's happening. You have this oversized additional living space uh, for whatever you need. Playroom, an additional den, you know, what have you. Just lots of options there. Here we've got your two guest rooms with the full bath there and we'll show you that here shortly. Here's bedroom number one. And this is just a spare bedroom. This is, again, there's a total of four bedrooms, three full baths. Uh, this bedroom opens up to the porch, which I showed you from downstairs. Nice, spacious porch area with great views of the neighborhood. One of the pools for the neighborhood, lovely pool is uh, down at the end of the street there and uh, you know that's probably I think one of the small, smaller pools in the community there's a large sprawling one with splash pads and you know play areas it's it's an amazing sight to behold um, so let's take a look at bedroom number two upstairs three overall. 
This one's a little bit more spacious uh, over on this side because there's a little cutout, little nook area there, but that's what you're working with in here. The closet, French doors behind the uh, main door there. Got a little hall closet here. Nice long uh, vanity in here with lots of cabinet space. And then behind the door, you have your full bath area with commode and your tub shower combo. That's going to be your only tub for the, for the house. The master does have a walk-in shower. Okay, again, nice little uh, ledge here over the um, stairwell. Going into the master, I also love me having me a, a laundry room right outside the primary bedroom because, uh, you know, let's face it, the people living in the primary bedroom are going to be the ones probably doing the laundry, but at least the bulk of it. Uh, so those are right there. Those are a nice set of LG appliances. Um, very nice, brand new. Uh, at the time of this video, which is 2023. So here is the primary suite. Again, upgraded fans with a cool little uh, light feature. Lots of space in here. And then let's check out, last but not least, the master bath. Amazing tile in these spaces. This looks like a, uh, a marble tile, long vanity, dual sinks, large mirror, plenty of cabinet space, two shower heads in the shower, one up above and one mounted on the wall right there. Uh, light coming in from the transom up above and nice beautiful tile with a ledge there. Here's your private room with the lavatory. And then, last but not least, and I think I took three pictures of this for the listing, giant primary suite closet. You've got what's probably going to be a shoe shelf right there. Uh, oversized hanging clothes right here, dresses and whatnot. Um, and then the racks all the way around for uh, shirts and pants. And it's continued into this space. I kind of like the separation between the two areas. Again, here's some additional long hanging there. I, got, I like the separation between the two areas, assuming there's going to be two people using this. Not necessarily is, but if there is, you can easily separate the clothing between the two of you. All right, gang, that's going to wrap it up for 370 Bumble Way walkthrough video tour. I want to thank you for watching. For more information on this property, please give us a call at 843-608-8845 or look us up on our website at happyhomespm.com. Thanks for watching.